It's demon dice. Rapid fire demon dice. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a stupid game. You know that for sure. <coughs> you really know that for sure. I'm thinking because we already have Trazan in the lineup, I can take Finny away. Because I have my birth of so, so, so many characters that I could just play no matter what and how it comes to. I hate Zen, just in general, so we ban him anyway. The uh, Chase don't necessarily favor him, or rather, like, well, they can, but it's not like, um, best in slots, rather, so it's just decent enough. But with Chazan on the table, unless well. they take it away from us, we are. St I still want to lean towards this for our potential pitch. Because we're going to have survival ability with Atlas, and I want to push this agenda. So I'm allowed to hit Mako's like that, being shadowed, right? potentially, then. That's going to give us a lot more affordability for control. In that case, I might hold Rapid Fire. I might hold Vice instead. Because Fini can offer us some hits, but if I'm going to have Mato, I don't Good know choice. how much more brawling power we're necessarily going stick. to have. So let's stick with it in that case then. And just see how it goes. Siphoning, that way if anybody takes Peach, we can just siphon that away exactly. I'm going to have a little bit more ranged pressure, because playing against Drek as Fini feels so drowning. Playing against Aster as Fini feels so drowning. Just because even a little bit of speed or movement can really deny you, no matter forward or not. So I just want to lean towards, alright, let's just play a little bit more towards range, safer, and it's nice and demon dice. You can never go wrong with that. So, Swift Kits Dread. Two of them are, oh, it's his face. Peak performance. There's gotta keep notes on that. Good deny by me to hold things outwards. Now, I shouldn't be afraid to keep using my power cord any chance that I can here. To just keep grinding out stagger from the enemy here. Because the fact is, even with Julie having her, uh, even with Julie having Vicious Embrace, the fact is we can keep forcing the agenda away from her. Because she can only life steal so much, you know? And if we keep the core away from her, or just keep the onus of the play away from her constantly, she may never have that exact chance to want to start her play, exactly so. I'm just gonna tap her just to get a kill. Because we can easily start converting a strike advantage potentially here. I have to slow Dreth at that point then. Because if I don't keep him staggered out, then we do just start drowning. Pass it back down. A little awkward. I know that I was just going ping pong with Maka right there. But I needed to see if I could guarantee anything going. Good straight by Dreth. Dodges me. I just have to carry and dribble to my corner. Miss my strike. Oh, Dreth. No such thing. In that case, then, I do have a clear water Well, that's... That's unfortunate drum and bass. We should have been grinding it out. I did try to reaction test Asher right there with my burst. Didn't work out. It's just whatever. So in that case, then, let's see what... Well, what, uh... Power we can instead start looking to really spurn on here. Because they got Julie staggered now, so... That's a huge win in the war. Because she's forced all the way back, and I can just start causing issues in the back one like so. I'm gonna dribble it away. Not the best corner dribble, but I want to just keep the pressure on otherwise and see what problems I can cause for Ashley. If I can force her burst out potentially to uh, uh, to uh, avoid all of my hits rather than touch his face, rather than using it defensively, that would be the biggest win in the universe. Bad dribbling by me. I just keep ping ponging it. But I'm going to win a war eventually. Eventually. Bad taps. That's a little awkward. We did get the gold conversion. Thank goodness. One pass. Didn't work. Ankle break. And moved too far forwards in front of Julie. Bad play by me. Keep it towards the corner. Try pointing a little forwards. That way maybe I could cheat against Julie. Just didn't work out. Intercept. No such thing. I missed my strike. I'm looking so far ahead of the core right now that I'm not actually getting the hit that I want here. So forth with the cut. Tried intercepting. Ankle break? No such thing. Forced an evade out of Dread. Decent hit. Just keep it in Dread in this case then. And drag it down. Demon angle. Good enough, good enough. It's dicey once our goal barrier is up that once I have burst, I'm just gonna force it open because even if a Dread is staggered, both Mato and I have our burst. Actually, all three of us have our burst. So I might as well just get our rotation going and just not care too much at that rate then. No, I'm not care too much about uh, holding on to it. Just use it or lose it. Prime energy right there. Just keep it in draft with this for what I can. Keep it drags up. Because both my teammates are just looking at draft. So I just need to keep looking at Julie in this case then. And respect in case the dash punch potentially comes around, for instance. 
You should keep stagger low, because I can just keep forcing. Force it up. I thought I'd tap Julie right there. I didn't somehow. That's annoying. Oh, Mako got it. You can see you can see how we're grinding it out. Because even with um peak performance being around, now um Astro does have powerhouse, so it is helping her survive, and I never really got any control pressure on her, but you can see, like, with both Mato and I having siphoning, we're able to just put a lot of water roll pressure on either of the forwards, and make it so that they're just never comfortable to start a game plan. Okay, grief on me, grief on me, but Agua saved it. And <laughs> you can see, <coughs> Joey is just so naturally low at the moment, and if I hit the power cord right there, then she'd really be in a bad situation. I'm trying to punish Asher for moving up so much at the moment. And I'm just gonna punish Dretch because he has no stagger, uh, he has no uh, energy left. Because no energy from that boy means that we just get to force the issue. I just wanted to tempo burst right there, that way we continue preserving our what's his face. We continue preserving goal control. And Ankle Break didn't succeed, unfortunately. Intercept up top. And another! Another clean interception! You can see the pressure that we're waning from this here. Being able to just cheat the core past Dretch and Julie, either by raw forcing it away from them constantly with our hits, or just, you know, with our cheating moves, is really what's getting us everything here. Getting Stinger on top of it, even if it did get nerfed twice over now, once in the Season 3 introduction and twice now, that's still gonna be stupid and we're gonna have fun. Now, Reaver and Unstoppable could cause problems for us here, but Mako taking that means there's no other defensive traits on the table here. Yes, Astro does get Reaver, but since he is Astro Jolie, she still has that exploitable pain point of being stretched out to us. She's Powerhouse Forge, so we can just outspeed her once the Gold Mouse open. And naturally, we can just keep beating up their forwards. <coughs> Julie does get Rampage, so she could sputter out of control, especially so. But fact is, my post damage is really just the name of the game here. With making it so that they just, like, I say they, with so none of the enemies never get to play the game. Got hit by me. Trying to make sure that Julie can't command too much space. I've really missed, like, the last three power cords. I'm trying to hold on to my stagger, kind of stagger as a health advantage. Because if I if I start getting poked out, or if I like get dash punch, for instance, that's gonna be bad. So I just need to rotate up and around every day. I thought I could get a poke away. Great stuff, Atlas, keeping me alive. Because I'm just looking for a tap get enough energy for a burst, and then just force it away. Once I burst right there, as we step from the bottom, there's no way she can actually beat me to it. And the fact is, even if I wasn't getting any kill pressure on the enemy, that tap was just to get my energy, and it's to beat Asher before she gets her own burst. Because then, uh, because once it becomes a burst v burst situation, it becomes a lot harder to grind out the goal like I'd want to. Because then, like, well, exactly so. It's a burst v burst. I might not get the guaranteed. So I want to run with the pressure that we have and put us in a neutral state once more. Stole the core away from Dread enough. Not the, not the core, the orb away from Dread enough. Poke him. That keeps him staggered out. Julie evaded. He's using all his combo pieces to try to hopefully deal with this kill. That's a really good hit, Atlas, because now Asher is staggered out. Just pass forwards and literally just a clear. Great forward play and just understanding our power spikes, everybody. Because as much as the enemy is doing bad with us, Mato and I both have enough survivability. Me just in virtue of watching my stagger and Mato with Unstoppable, making it so that they really just can't play in her face right there like to. It's just so hard for them to want to get anything going. And the few times that they are putting that focus on us, I was about to say, well, Asher's not drowning, I was going to say, but that is a drowning situation right there, I am not going to lie. I was about to say, yeah, we need to, we need to poke Dretch and stop him from getting burst. Why'd you ping on it? Oh, no. We wasted our burst, I wasted my, my, uh, oak for it. We used another burst and you ping on it straight to Joy when the clear at the bottom is perfect. I mean, I'm saying that with a smile on my face, so I, like, small things happen, and fact is, like, I was trying to push advantage after, like, even after the beginning of the set, just with how disastrous it initially, uh, disastrous it initially went. 
<coughs> nice interception for me. Good interception for me again. Julie's not getting to be a pain point. We need to kill her, actually, because she is first. Catch tries. Good. Good coherence. Just gonna hit Dread away. Good stuff. And now we drag it up. Point Mako. But right, going, going back to that, I'm saying, I was saying all that with, you know, grain of salt and a bit of a smile on my face as if like, ah, you know what, they get their ones at least. Man, if I could hit these power cords, that would be really, really nice. Instead, I just gotta fan outwards, get the rebound, and just keep dread low. Because you can see, like, the brawling on Julie is really in, uh, is really working out for Mato. And even if she, we're not going, uh stagger positive, she is just keeping her locked down, and the pressure is constantly on their side of the pitch. Awkward. If I did that Thunderstruck earlier, would have been great. Yep, alright. So what I need to do, well, not miss as many power cords, because Drek is just able to sustain at least the one more hit with Peak, and then if I keep missing, I'm not getting any value from any of my three traits. And try to find better uh, control from my of my ultimate hope for you. Because the big thing that I'm working at here is how close to burst Drek is. And if I can just kill him and make it so he never gets the burst like so, then that, you can see immediately how the balance of power immediately shifts in our favor. Because Julie's staggered out. Asher is by herself. She has to burst, basically, if she wants to get anything going. There's Force. I'm just going to steal her orb. I missed my power towards, so we're losing if I were going to play. Tried 1 2 in with power toward first, didn't work out. Oh, good. But good. That's still got the goal barrier out, it's still got the play going for us. And crucially, we can continue fanning this advantage, exactly so. Because now I'd like to transition my pressure to Asher if I potentially can, but she, like, the fact that I missed my power toward to continue that play means uh, my offensive play is dead. Instead, transition it to their forwards. Clear it, clear it upwards. I just want to put it on their side of the goal mouth, because you can see, I can start fanning forwards. Atlas' uh, um, strike shot causes problems for them. And with my burst on the table now, I just want to start challenging them. Challenging them to wars. Doing this to make it so that Dread can't clear. Oh, amazing power forward try from me, at the very least. I need to, uh, I was about to say, the one time I do commit up towards the top right corner is when Mato passes it away. It's alright. But for something clear, that was, that was very prospective of me to try to find something there. I just didn't get it. I'm playing in a very forward position. I think I need to peel back, get my control more though. Nice deny. He's winning the wars against me. He really is just dread winning these wars. We are losing control badly. Trying to cut up top. That's going to clear attention. Oh, fuck. Oh! What a cutter, dude! What a cutter! Asher didn't want to use burst, and I can't believe she disrespected the Thunderstruck like that! Even though I kept missing a lot of my crucial strikes, fat this Atlas kept his cool, kept his... I kept this calm when we were looking at the corners, we were able to just drill that out slowly but surely. Thank goodness gracious. That took a while, but I'm very, very happy with the outcome right there. And the fact this, yeah, once again, my Thunderstruck Cutter at the very end really just took the angel a little farther than Asher expected. She had to have bursted right there, I feel. As much as I'd love to have prime time, fact is, uh, uh, with rapid fire, fact is explosive entrance impacts my entire kit. I think I need to run with that and make my hits even harder. Because if I get a little bit more leverage, it's like on the time to where it's like Julie's, for example, on the very edge of the map, and she just doesn't sometimes die, it can be a slight problem. I'm just doing this for drawing survivability, quite frankly, here. I have Atlas as well to support if I really need to, but the fact is, like, that lets us retain pressure, and I'm just gonna retreat back up. And then I can start forcing, um, I can start forcing play identities like this. Didn't get Julie. I'm just gonna get well, I was gonna say get an orb, get some energy potentially. But we just keep we keep the onus of this boy away from Julie. Fact is, I get all of my I get all of my traits empowered. 
uh, plus my uh, my thunderstruck, of course, also gets empowered as well. Is the key notes. Tried tried passing up and away, hoping that I could get something going from that. Obviously, I didn't. So sets to be us. Nice stuff, Mako. Great strike shot, dude. Cheat. Guarantee it, guarantee it. I didn't know if Asher would be able to reach, so I have burst. We have the we have the core advantage, and with our dual mouth open, I don't want to risk anything. Just quick, just burst. Keep our pressure going. Doesn't matter if I use mine, because Asher already has no energy herself, and with the enemies dying, they are so low on their own energy economy themselves. All right, the entire team, I mean. So this is the time to literally just poke Dread. Adrenaline Rush is going to keep procking for Mako here. And just help keep Julie as low as possible so Mako just keeps going around. Because th their rebounds are really good on us. By there, I mean, just, well, it's Dread. It very much so is just Dread's rebounding that is causing uh, uh, problems for our core control game. Because every time he just respawns, it's problematic, and we're not getting the actual interceptions and hits that we'd want otherwise. And it's annoying. I'm just gonna tap. I'm just gonna kill. That should get a general rush going. Clear up, away from Master. Just gonna steal the orb behind, and let's see if we can't clear this. Great stuff. This once again, I have burst. Don't contest it. Don't, don't, don't be afraid. Just don't be afraid to hold on to it greedily. Just to sit here and out of the way. Does anyone else Julie had the knowledge to think that's going to be an instant burst? I need to challenge with my Flaming Phoenix. That one's out of the way. And once again, too, with when the goal barrier on your side's down, <coughs> just like there's no reason for you to be like, ah, oh, it's okay. It's just one one now. No, convert this, convert this, uh. I convert this 1-1 one, one into a 2-1. Make it so the enemy doesn't get to play the game. As much as you potentially can, Chief. Just make it hard for them to, well, like, like, like I said, to do anything in their own capacity. I need to fan out more. Just keep hitting. I'm trying to respect if Julie could potentially hit me here. Need to drag it away, because that is a burst used by Mako now. To kill after, exactly so. This point, calm and collected. Don't want Joy to steal priority away from us. And you can see right there, exactly so. Simple enough. Mako understood the game plan, and with her taking adrenaline rush at the very end too, really cause too many problems. As much as the enemy did try to survive and Julie, you know, did take Vicious to get smart enough, she never found a good angle to be able to pair her abilities up for the dash punches as much, is really Dread causing problems for us with him having just a little bit more speed to drag the core away. So anytime Julie, even if she got the hits on the core or so, she just had to brawl back right at us and that took away her own priority. Dread really just was getting the best off of his response and he was back at full stagger and he was able to run away with good bits, but otherwise, you saw right there, Mako and I just understood each other's assignment pretty well, with both stealing the core and making sure the enemy never got to play the game. Atlas as well, of course, so like, the only, the one and only time I got staggered, he just, you know, kept his hands, only Celestial invent Intervention that ever had to go out, and towing by the zero KOs on the enemy side, yep, it was total domination on that side as well. Real good stuff, everybody.